Okay, um, everybody, this is where we are standing right now. We are standing in front of the mulberry tree. I am with Homer the Homesteader. And, hey, and also, this is Uncle Steve, the mechanical genius's house, and Aunt Connie's. Yeah. And they have some cars, which is either the which is the Buick, the Lincoln, the Ford truck, and I don't know what that gray one is right in front of. Lexus. Yes, Lexus. They have a Jaguar. Yeah, that thing is loud. They have Mercedes Benz that's all fixed up and almost ready to run in the garage. And, and there is my grandmother's car. Nice. So that's we, me and my grandma are here visiting at the mechanical's house. Mechanical genius's house. Yeah. And I am also doing stuff. And as y'all saw the um, the basketball video, we will be doing another part of that. That would that would be part two. So, All right. We got some more basketball skills to learn here. Yep. And also, I can show you a few, but you have to be super careful because you have to have either an adult watching after you. All right. So with you got Homer, most people don't know to really think that he's an adult. A little bit. Yeah, he's kind of silly. Kid, kind of a kid still. So he just barely qualifies as an adult. But basketball later on to the mulberries and tell me a little bit okay. about what's happening here so most people walk on the mulberries here but i did make a smiley face out of the mulberries you get a smiley face out of the mulberries yep so, oh, let me see that smiley face out of the mulberries it's not here anymore so oh okay some people just swipe it off i think okay here are some mulberries when you turn around from me, you gotta talk a little bit louder or... So here are some mulberries. Hey, Homer, would you be glad to get that branch up there for me? I will get this branch. This one right here with the mulberries on it. Uh, yep. Right I might have to go out here farther. Yeah, that's good. Bit down, a bit more. Let's not break it. Oh, you got a mulberry. Let me see what it looks like. It's, they have to be dark, in a dark blackish color to be ripe. Because if see. it's like this or this, that means they're not ripe at all. Well, I got that leaf in my way. I can see, there we go, that's a pink one. So I got two. Uh, there's a completely oh, green Homer. one, but look at that one behind Homer. it. Homer, put yes, it down, put it down for a minute. Oh, I have to reach on my tippy toes. All the way Let's to get see. it. Let's see what you got. Got three of them there and a little bit of mulberry oh. stains. I don't know if that's nope, that's not right. Just throw that down. Here's one. Ah, mulberries fall down really easily. I see so. some over here. Can you reach up there? Uh, yeah. Some of these are there. Right. You go. Some. Look at that beautiful shot of mulberry picking. So if you ever see any mulberries that look ripe or not ripe, just make sure to wash these off because you might not never know what's on it. But you can also eat them without washing them off. Yeah, especially because these haven't had any chemicals, no pesticides, no, no well, try one, herbicides, right? nothing. I will try one, but this, what we're doing right now, we're, although we're in a very urban setting, you can see this neighborhood here. This and mulberry tree has been allowed. Two squirrels out there. Huh? Two squirrels. See two squirrels. Ah, uh, over there by the pool. Yeah, kind of behind that pole over by the fire hydrant. But the thing I wanted to point out, you and I did something at Grant, uh, Aunt BJ's house. Yep, we did some raspberry and mulberry picking. And some black raspberries. As y'all did see that in that last video. Right. Now that was our foraging video. Yes. And foraging is typically referred to as when you go out and look for things that grow in nature, right? You hear those geese honking? I do, I can't see them up there, it's I pretty cloudy. So. Anyways. Anyway. So you might so, not want to do anything else. So as you can see, you can walk on the sidewalk, but be very careful of strangers. 
Yes. And the point I wanted to make in addition to being careful of strangers is a lot of the food that we gather on the homestead comes from things that just grow naturally out yeah. in the forest. And even here in a suburban, urban setting, suburban setting right here in a neighborhood, you can do some foraging and find some really yes. cool berries. Now, I bet that a lot of people that walk through this sidewalk you were telling about and walk right over these berries and may not even know they're edible. They might think they're poisonous. They could, or just don't know they can eat them. Yes. So, you're out here today raising awareness for yes. people that so, live... Anyways, that last video about egg making. I had to choose whether or not to crack my egg open or raise it. I raised it to, I'm raising it right now to be a chick, but it's not here right now. It's back at BJ's house. Oh, you have it sitting in an incubator to? No, not an incubator. It's in two washcloths ah, in a little basket. I got and it. And once it hatches, um, I'll be sure to know that it's very, very cute. Anyways, I see a bunny over there. Yeah, it just disappeared in there. Anyways. Ah, I see it up against that house. So, well, Sonny, I want to thank you very much for showing us how to forage in a neighborhood. Oh, anyways, let's take some mulberries into stuff. And let, let's taste a little bit of them. Oop. Whoops. That's okay. We can still eat it. All right. We're going to taste them. Scrump delicious. Very you good. can also eat the stem. They're so good, you can even eat the stems. Yes, you can eat the stems really well. Nice. See, I'm not even spitting it out. Right, there's the stem. They leave a little bit of... The ripe ones leave a little bit of stain on your yeah. hands. Alright, well let's close this foraging video out. And we will be back with part two of basketball. Alright, what do you say at the end? Thank you for being with us. So peace, love, togetherness. Just so, just like thought you'd like an update on the property. Very good. We'll see you later. Leave a like and subscribe. Very good.